Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I will present a paper made by myself and um, my colleague Knut Christofferson, a member of the very important DEP committee. <coughs> Norway. It's a weather beaten and mountainous land with a long coastline. And yes, we are a nation of mountains, of waterfalls, beautiful inland valleys, and we are now Arctic nations. But first of all, we are a maritime nation. And we have a coastline of 83,000 kilometers, even though it's only 2,500 kilometers from, from south to north, due to our fjords and islands. Our industry is based on fishery, offshore industry, shipping, and uh, the ocean has always been very important for us. We've had our dark moments. One of these moments lasted 400 years, where we had to share the king with our friends in Denmark. The second of uh, these moments lasted 100 years, almost, where we had to share the king with our friends in Sweden. At the last part of this first moment, and especially in the beginning of the, last, of, of the second uh, moment, there was a dramatic shift in the way uh, we could travel along the coast. And that was, of course, due to the building of the infrastructure of lighthouses in particular. Pilotage services, harbors, but uh, first of all the lighthouses. This made it possible to navigate the coast year-round, uh, day and night. And um, that really made a difference in tying this nation together. We like to present ourselves with the images that you see at the top right, beautiful fjords, nice weather. But I think what has shaped us is the conditions you see at the images on the bottom right. This is a lighthouse, or there is a lighthouse behind there someplace. Normally it's uh, 30 meters above the sea level. And uh, this says something about the conditions. Since uh, this was a very important part of the development, especially in the, uh, in the 19th century. I think that one prerequisite for, for us being able to stand up as a sovereign nation again in 1905 was uh, our maritime infrastructure. And uh, we are very proud of it. There's a very uh, big self-conscience in Norway about uh, this. If you look at the uh, entire period from our first lighthouse was built in uh, 1656, we have uh, approximately 230 manned lighthouses being built throughout the period, with 100, more than 150 operational at its peak. Today, we, the Coastal Administration, we own approximately 105 lighthouses. And we demand the last one in 2006, ending a 350-year era. And this is a picture of uh, the last manned lighthouse in Norway, from 70 degrees north. This is, of course, uh, a huge uh, challenge when it comes to, to maintaining these lighthouses. In Norway, it's a very clear responsibility. Uh, the individual services of the government has its own responsibility to uh, document their own cultural history and also preservation of, uh, of cultural mon monuments. So uh, the responsibility is very clear. It is ours to take care of this. Some years ago, uh, 83 of our lighthouses was listed according to the Act of Heritage, which is, a, which is the strongest uh, protection you can give uh, these monuments in Norway, in addition to five folk homes. This is, of course, immensely demanding when it comes to maintenance. So we have four main strategies that we, we try to follow in order to, to cope with this, and I'll go briefly through those uh, those. Uh, this is a picture of uh, Lindesnes. I think many of you recognize this. There was a, a very nice uh, gathering there some years ago in the EEP committee. The first of these strategies is that we must have a certain competence within our own organization. We have a dedicated heritage manager, and he has uh, some people around in the, in the whole nation that is very skilled in this job, these jobs. Uh, both on the property side and also on the, uh, uh, the actually crafting side, the, the craftsmen and some skilled workers. But that is very important for us to be able to, to understand what we need to do in uh, these uh, issues. The second one is that uh, two years ago we made, uh, we 
managed to define a lighthouse museum. And uh, this museum was built exactly here at Lindesnes, where you can, uh, can see uh, this picture. Very crucial for the way we uh, is maintaining, the way we, uh, we are using them as a competence in our work in preserving these uh, issues. So they are our prime advisors in both in museum technical questions, but also in, in cultural aspects and in, uh, in, in preservation aspects. A great resource for us. The third of these um, uh, strategies, a very important one, cooperation with local interest. Of these 105 lighthouses that we own today, we have lease contracts on 66 of them, both to local or municipal authorities, but also to some private stakeholders where that first option has not been possible to, uh, to do. Uh, these are, in general, very dedicated persons, very, uh, very concerned about the local community, and there's a, a very strict clause in, in our renting agreements. It shall be open to the public in some form. And this is very important for us. Some years ago, the government uh, decided to sell lighthouses, but that was stopped pretty soon because uh, the people didn't want them to. They wanted to have public access and be open to the public. So, our local people say that for every euro we put into this corporation, we get tenfold back because labor is very expensive in Norway and that is uh, in general what they contribute with. A very good, good arrangement. The third of these, uh, or fourth of these strategies is networking, workshop, communication and profiling. Very important for us and the Lighthouse Museum at Lindesnes plays a vital role in this aspect for us. You can see on the left here is what we call the Mountain Hall, which is a modern part of the Lighthouse Museum. And we use that as a, as a starting point for a lot of activities, both locally and nationally, for, uh, for doing this task. And it's very important for us to keep a good connection with uh, the heritage authorities, with other local authorities, and of course all the volunteer organizations uh, in this. Inside the mountain hall, there is room for, uh, for many people, and uh, we have a conference center there, concert hall, a lot of activities about cultural history and, and uh, the telling of, of that. And it is beautiful in the night time. Uh, you can see the mountain hall on the right, bottom right corner here, and uh, again at Lindesnes uh, Museum. And of course, the, uh, the lighthouse is in operation with this still. We also have some uh, new projects, but uh, since uh, this presentation went on for 20 to 9 minutes, I'm, uh, I'm stopping there. But uh, this is uh, just uh, an image of one of the other lighthouses. Well, the, today there is a gallery inside the existing portion, and there are plans to extend this and make a, make a beautiful, unvisible gallery with an astonishing view. Uh, so that there happens, there's a lot of things happening around this project for us. So, to wrap it up, the, the Norwegian Coastal Administration has put extra effort the last uh, four, five, six years in order to, to, uh, to work for the maritime heritage, and especially within those areas, within our responsibility. And I think that during the last few years we have changed the condition for this, both in general and particular for lighthouses. And through uh, offering especially the alternative use of the lighthouses, as well as the, uh, the knowledge uh, and the storytelling. I think uh, there has been a growing interest for this field in the wide public. So I would say that uh, by nurturing our past, I think we lay the foundation for more goodwill, and that translates to money in the future, so we can take even better care of, of this treasure. Thank you. Thank you very much, Arvind.